What's up, guys? Gabriel Bergman here with Vertex Effects. Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is all about speakers. We'll be checking out the classic Electra Voice EVM 12L speakers. We'll be checking them out with a original one as well as a reissue. We'll be seeing how they sound, compare, contrast, all that fun stuff. But before we move on, big thank you to our sponsor, Sweetwater, who provided us with a brand new EVM 12L. We already have a vintage one, so thank you, Sweetwater, for providing a new one. Also, all of the gear used in today's video, Les Paul, Ultraphonics Overdrive, Fender Hot Rod DeVille, you can all purchase from Sweetwater, so contact your sales engineer. Let's dive into this video. So why would you consider an EV speaker? Two main reasons. Number one, it's 200 watts. It can handle literally any amp you throw at it, whether it's through a 1x12 cab or a 2x12 cab, even a 4x12, right? These can handle anything. Number two is really transparency. The EV speaker isn't a colorful speaker, so you'll be hearing the most natural sounding version of your amp, whether it's clean, overdrive, etc. So some of my favorite players have used this speaker in the past. For example, in the early 80s, Michael Landa used this speaker when he toured with Olivia Newton-John when he ran a Mesa Boogie through a 1x12 cab. Larry Carlton, another famous user of this amp with his Dumbles. And most recently, Zach Wilde and Joe Bonamassa have been using them with their Marshalls and also John Mayer with his latest amp setup on the Sob Rock Tour. So now the fun part, the playing. Both EV speakers are in their individual 1x12 cabs, mic'd with a Shure SM7B on both of them. Gear-wise, I'm using my Gibson Les Paul Pitanen reissue, a Vertex Ultraphonics Mark II Overdrive, and that's going into a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. For today's test, I'm gonna record four different playing examples. First, an example with big open chords. Second, a fusion blues lead example. Third, a modern blues example. And finally, a cleaner edge of breakup example. Then, I'll head over to the desk and play back each example. A being between the new EVM 12L and the vintage one. I'll then analyze what I'm hearing so we can find out if the new EVM 12L reissue holds up to the tried and true vintage EVM 12L. Without further ado, let's get into the playing. Cool, I just played some demos. Now we're at the desk, got Logic pulled up. Both EV speakers are on their individual tracks. Let's take a look and hear how they sound. First up, some big chords, right? Something simple. Nice. So what I heard, the new speaker, right, is a bit darker sounding, right? It almost sounds like if you look at the frequency, it just went, whoop, just got smaller, right? Less top end, a little more mids and just a little woofier sounding. The vintage is the opposite. It sounds much more open, a little much more clear on the top end and the bottom end, really just clear, right? Very articulate sounding. So for that playing example, Vintage one for me takes the cake. Now let's move on to some really fun fusion blues melodies I'm sure we all know. Let's check it out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nice. Big Robin Ford fan here, as you could tell. <laughs> so between the two, the newer EV speaker, right, has a bit more punch, a bit more pinchy in the top end, if that makes sense. The vintage one is smooth, right? Like the last example, it's much smoother top end, clearer, newer one, darker, but has a bit more sparkle for that type of lead playing, which I actually prefer for that example. So example number two, the new EV takes the cake. Let's check out example number three. Awesome. So what I hear for this particular one, right? Because this is very middle of the fretboard guitar, right? Frets five through seven. And then we got low at the open E. For this example, the vintage EV takes the cake. The clarity, right? The openness of the sound in that fifth fret, seventh fret register of the guitar really is benefited from the openness of that speaker. The newer one, it just sounds a bit muffled, kind of closed sounding. So example number three, vintage EV takes the cake. Let's check out our last example, example number four. <laughs> My vibrato caused a little bit of excess noise. Don't be mad. Um, for that example, it's a tie, right? They both have their place. The new EV, a bit darker sounding, right? But for that single line stuff, it kind of works. Um, the vintage one, Again, much more open sounding. It sounds just more natural guitar tone. Um, I'd be happy to play that same Nightcrawler-esque Larry Carlton thing through either of those speakers. Um, so for this one, we'll call it a tie. Overall, the vintage EVM12L takes the cake. It sounds more open and natural when compared to the reissue. However, we have to remember that the reissue is just over a week old. The stiffness of the new EV will definitely go away with time. Well, all right, guys, that is today's video. Our little shootout between a vintage EV and a reissue. Keep in mind, the vintage one is old, hence vintage. The reissue one is brand new, about 10 days old. So let us know in the comments below which one you prefer. Again, thank you to today's sponsor, Sweetwater. All this gear you can buy there. And if you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.